In this video, you're going to learn how to build modern console applications. Sometimes a simple console application is what solves the problem best. Do you want to create a console application like this? Stay tuned! Hi, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years experience on the .NET platform. If you want to learn more about software development, subscribe to my channel for more free content. Why should you care about writing a console application in 2019, where everyone is talking about user experience, artificial intelligence, AI, and web apps? I give you four reasons. Reason number one, it's simple. Creating a console application is more straightforward than building an application that has a rich user interface. You don't need to know or use any user interface languages, tools, or frameworks. You can implement a console application using simple c -sharp programming. Reason number two. Console applications are robust. Console applications do not need to change with every new shiny framework or tool that's trending right now. Once created, a console application does not have to be changed every day. Sure, if the requirements change or if you want to add a new feature, you have to change the code or you have to add new code. Usually, adding functionality to a user interface forces you to move things around and consider further changes to provide a great user experience. Reason number three, low development cost. Creating a console application is much cheaper compared to an application including a user interface. There are a lot of questions if you want to build a good user experience for an application with a user interface. A console application provides a much simpler yet effective interface for the user. Reason number four, console applications are great for automation. Nowadays, in the age of continuous integration and continuous deployment, automation has become very important. If you need to execute custom code, often console applications allow you to write the code you need in your favorite environment. Console applications can be executed from the command line by default, which allows for simple server-side automation. Let's take a look at the typical console application which consists of four parts. Part 1. The parameter parsing. Usually, command line programs get executed with parameters. The first step of a console application is to parse the arguments into commands, values and other parts. The user or the caller of a console application provides some information, like input data for the application. It can be a command with a value or a user input through the keyboard. Next, the data provided to the application runs through the program logic. The business logic can be storing the data, manipulating the data, accessing a database, copying files, or whatever job needs to be done. Last but not least, the data output. After the operation is completed, the console app usually gives some feedback. In the simplest case, the console app returns an integer after the executing process finished. A better experience is providing information in the output, such as the log information or writing output data to the console. How to approach writing a console application? Starting from scratch is an honorable approach, but it's not the most effective approach. Some of the tasks are repetitious and are already solved. It's also true for creating console applications. I'm going to show you three libraries that help you quickly build modern console applications using C-sharp. Let's take a look at the simple application. Let's execute the application without any arguments. The application lists the available commands. This output can also be seen by explicitly adding the dash dash help option of the command. We have two commands available in our sample application. A wizards and a films command which both contain information about the Harry Potter movie series. Let's take a look at the films command. The application lists all the films in order of their release. We also see at the bottom of the output that there are eight Harry Potter movies in total. Next, let's take a look at the wizards command. This command shows the four main wizards, their actors, and their houses. We can also execute the wizards command followed by a house. If we run wizards Gryffindor, we get only the wizards of the Gryffindor house. Now that we know about the features of the application, let's take a look at the code. You can see the code of my Harry Potter characters.net core console application project in Visual Studio 2019. If you haven't already watched it, I recommend you to watch the video linked on top of your screen which shows all the new features coming in Visual Studio 2019. The program class is very simple. 
We create a new instance of an app runner class and provide a Harry Potter chars class as the type argument. Next, we call the run method and provide the application arguments. Let's take a closer look at the Harry Potter chars class. It's a class where the business logic is implemented. There is a fill method without arguments and there is a wizards method with a string argument. Both methods have an application metadata attribute which includes a description. And we use the console table class to generate the output. The characters and movie classes are just holding the data. If you are a .NET developer, you recognize that console table as well as app runner are not part of the .NET standard. Both of these classes are from a Nugget package that I installed. Let's take a look at the packages I used in this console application. First, let's take a look at the package which provides the console tables class which produces the formatted console output. This package is called console tables and it is developed and maintained by Khalid Abu Hakme. Sorry Khalid if I butchered your last name. It not only provides the output I showcased in my example project, but it also offers an alternative output as well as markdown syntax output. Markdown syntax is especially helpful if you want to generate an output that you want to show on a website, like test results or other results from a CI CD pipeline. You can find a link to the GitHub repository in the video description below. Command.net is a powerful command line modeling package which provides the app runner class we used in the program class of our sample project. Command.net is developed and maintained mostly by Lila Faslani. It allows you to focus on the business code of your console application by providing various features such as argument parsing, generating a manual page and much more. The argument parsing feature is enhanced and supports commands, arguments, subcommands, as well as options and even flags. I cannot think of a scenario that cannot be handled by this library. If you are serious about creating a console application, you want to check out this package on GitHub. You can find the link in the video description below. Bonus tip, Easy Console. I haven't used Easy Console for any project yet, but I came across it while researching for this video and it looks promising. I want to give a shout out to this project which allows you to generate menus if that is something you need for your applications. I hope you can leverage the knowledge you gained by watching this video to create your console applications faster and to provide a better experience to your users. If you know about other helpful console tools or packages, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to ask questions about this video in the comments, give me some feedback and if you like this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. See you in the next.